Well, big changes moving our way over the next couple of days. A roller coaster, in fact. The next few days, we are warmer, but later this week, rain settles into the area, and then we're right back to the warmth again. Let me show you the satellite and radar. We've got clouds infiltrating the southeast, but it's still been a very nice day, and tomorrow will be nice as well. Look at this in downtown Greenville. Super nice out. 65 degrees thanks to our south-southwest winds at 7 miles per hour. It is a warmer day outside, and we'll continue to be above average tomorrow as well as we get closer to 70 in some of these southern communities like Greenwood, Abbeville and Elberton. It's 65 right now in Elberton, 65 in Anderson. Hartwell, you're the warm spot in the region right now along with Union at 66 degrees. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, another cool one for us. We'll be in the low 40s in the upstate, upper 30s in western North Carolina with more clouds than we had today. And throughout the day tomorrow, you'll notice a little bit less sunshine, more clouds than sun tomorrow, but most of us are dry. I've got a 20% chance of a shower here or there, but most of us are dry until the evening hours when some spotty showers do begin to crop up. Same story for the mountains. You'll be in the lower 60s. A nice day temperature wise, but more cloud cover tomorrow than sunshine. But still, we could be a lot colder this time of year. Check it out. 70 in Elberton tomorrow, 68 in Abbeville, and this is with cloud cover. The sun will not shine as much tomorrow, but still going to be a warm day. 68 in Greenville and 64 for your high in Asheville. Latest computer model shows as we go into the overnight hours, more clouds. That's going to keep us from falling down as cool tomorrow morning. I can't rule out a shower in North East Georgia as we go into the morning hours and as we go throughout the day, there's that spotty shower chance here or there, but better chances tomorrow night as this front gets closer to us. Notice as we wake up Thursday morning, we've got some rain in the western parts of the area spreading into the upstate by the afternoon hours. We'll have rain scattered off and on. It'll be relatively light here and there Thursday afternoon into the evening hours into parts of Friday as well. Now Friday we look to dry out for maybe a brief period of time in the morning before more rain tries to work back in. Let me show you what's happening here because it's a front that settles across the area and it separates cold air and warm air. And with this on Friday, we've got cold air trying to move back in and this front doesn't go too far south. So rain tries to build back in during the afternoon hours on Friday, mainly for the upstate, not necessarily the mountains. This would be Friday, Friday afternoon. And the models are uh, frankly in very bad uh, agreement on this. So uh, some of the models have that rain pushed a little bit farther south. But right now we'll keep rain chances around and know that Friday could be uh, wet. But this looks to move out as we go into Friday night, Saturday's time frame. Now we're not done yet because throughout the day on Saturday, cold air is in place. And with this moisture not being too far away, some of it's going to try to wrap back into the area. And I think that's going to happen for the mountains as we'll see scattered rain showers develop by Saturday afternoon. Parts of the upstate could now see some rain on Saturday as well, but it's going to be snow along the Tennessee line Saturday and Saturday night, and some of that snow could crash as far south as Hendersonville or Asheville now. Maybe even the few snowflakes mixed with some rain showers Sunday morning in the northern part of the upstate. It shouldn't be a big deal in the upstate. Remember how warm we've been lately, but we'll watch it closely because this cold air does look to be diving down fairly far south. So uh, the new snow potential Friday night through Saturday does now include Henderson County, Brevard. This is not a lot to write home about, but it could be a little bit farther south than just the northwest uh, counties there in North Carolina bordering Tennessee. So one to watch. The European model definitely disagrees with the GFS on how much available moisture is around. GFS wants to paint as much as two inches through the weekend, while the Europeans at about a half an inch. We need to watch it. Uh, simply put, here's the way I expect things to play out on the four day. 67 dry tomorrow, increasing clouds. We've got rain scattered at times on Thursday and Friday. Both uh, don't expect it to be a complete washout, though, and I've introduced rain chances on Saturday to account for some of that moisture moving into the upstate as well. But notice temperatures are not going to cause too much in the way of problems uh, where we could see some uh, maybe a flurry or a snowflake mixed in with the rain would be early Saturday morning or Sunday morning. I should say as we see everything clear out. But look at that. We're up to 54 by Sunday afternoon and then by so Monday into Tuesday, we're back into the 60s. So uh, this week is the only cool down in between two big warm ups in the mountains. We've got shower chances Thursday and Friday and then some snow north of I 40, especially on Saturday and Saturday. Saturday evening.